What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Mecha Jammer, an open world cyberpunk CRPG. If those words don't get you husky, then I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, those words get me husky. I'm like ready to go right now. I got like, I got rouge on my cheeks and everything. So anyways, we're going to dive on in and spend about 25-30 minutes with the demo. See if it's something you wanted to add to your wishlist or otherwise pass on. Uh, fair warning, there's going to be a lot of demos this week and next week just because the Steam Festival is upcoming and so there's loads and loads and loads of prologues and things being released. This is kind of the golden age for guys like me, uh, but if you're frustrated by the demos, that's pretty much like where it's coming from is that there's lots and lots of things getting ready for you know, the Steam Festival. So let's dive on in, spend about 25 minutes with it. If after, if after watching this, you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. You can check out and play the demo. It's freely available on the Mecha Jammer, on the Mecha Jammer Steam page. You got to go over to the right. It's kind of like in a little hidden spot where it says play demo. Uh, but anyways, let's go. All right, so choose a character. Let's try out the character creation. All right, so we've got a bunch of, we can be female, male, or non-binary. Okay, uh, I'm going to be a dude. Because, like, I am a did, and so that's where all my experience lies. Uh, we've got to find ourselves a... Let's see if we can find ourselves a good portrait here. I wonder if it's, like, randomly generating these. I don't know. They all seem kind of similar, but also, like, a little... That dude's got, like, a, he's got, like, the Grateful Dead thing going on. I'm gonna be this guy right here. His name will be Cash Falcon. Perfect. Uh, we've got three action turns, we've got 100 bag weight, 20 item limit. It looks like we can learn virtues over here. So I drag and drop these in virtues to increase my innate abilities. Okay. Alright, so let's go through. We've got pain threshold. It's your immunity to physical ailments and abuse. Okay, so it raises your life regeneration and it increases your plant chances of blocking. We've got maximum light point or life points. We've got quietness, so that's going to be like our sneakiness. Uh, we've got our muscle mass, which is how good we are probably at like punching and carrying stuff. And we've got grace, uh, which allows us to get action recovery. Okay, it also makes us reload faster. Reduces negative modifiers from attacking an unstable surface. Wow, this game seems like it's going to have some real battle tech depth to it. All right, perception looks like it increases our distance modifier and hit chances. Okay, and then we get better at slug guns, plasma. I'll probably go with one of those right there. We'll put a die in right there real fast. We've got occult, so that's our ability to use psychic forces. Okay, that's pretty sick. And we've got learning down here, which has to do with a whole bunch of stuff like chemistry and hacking and stuff of that nature. All right, we'll go with a little bit of that right there. I'll go with some perception. Probably go with, like, a little bit of muscle mass. Maybe, like, a little. I don't want to spread it around too thin. We're going to kind of throw it all in, like, these regions over here. We also have our studies on this side. I like slug guns, so that's what I'm going to do, dude. But it looks like we've got a pretty cool selection of stuff we can do down here. I'll probably go, like, slug guns. We'll probably go with, like, a little bit of social. Yeah, that sounds all right. We'll probably go with some hacking. Probably go with some burglary. That sounds all right. Maybe we'll swap one of these up to quietness right there. We're kind of jack. Of, we're kind of doing a jack of all trades thing right now, which like I, I feel like I've been bit by in the past, but my job history is incomplete. Which birth kit was provided or purchased during your early development? Uh, natural birth. So apparently this is like picking a healthcare plan. You get given some kind of genetic stim or something when you're born. Natural birth means that you were poor and you can't even afford like the government public plan. Uh, this one right here seems like the middle option and this guy right here seems like this is like the premium gold package right here. We'll go with the natural birth, dude. We're gonna be kind of like a, you know, we're gonna be like a, a hive learner out here. Which of the following occupations did you hold before age 20? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll be a pickpocket. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's be a pickpocket. I don't know if that counts as like real. I don't know if that's employment you can put on your tax return, but whatever. Which of these side effects best matches the conditions you develop during this time? What does Pinky Promise do? A slip in a knife fight has left you down a little finger. Working with small tools requires extra caution. Okay, so it takes me longer to hack and do chemistry. I immediately eat all food that comes my way because I don't know when a meal is coming. Or I can be addicted. I guess I'll just be a glutton. There we go. Are you 20 years or older? Yes, I am. Which of the following occupations did you hold between the ages of 20 and 25? Uh, I guess I'll be like a, a gig worker for a little bit. That sounds good. Uh, which of these side effects best matches the conditions you developed there? A bad back. Oh no, dude. 
Are you 26 years of age or I am? I am! Which of the following occupations did you hold? Oh no, dude. I guess I'll just be syndicate security? Maybe that one will give me good stuff. Uh, I can get PTSD, I can lose a finger, I can take a head injury, or I can have an even worse back. Oh no, man. Um... I guess I'll... Oh no, I guess I'll have a double bad back. I'll keep all my problems in the same spot. All right, I guess that's us. We have a really, really, really bad back, dude. My back, my entire, all of my vertebra are just like made out of straw at this point. Cash Falcon? Hey, you awake in there? Sorry about the rough disconnect. We're out of time. Uh, disconnect? When the fighting started, they jacked us all in. You know this, of course. You're just foggy still. I am too. Pelican yanked my brain first. Who's Pelican? Our friend from the canteen. We meet there after patrols. Lucky she's a pilot. She wasn't hooked in like us. Alright, well, ready to go. We're headed to the West Bay. Let's get out of here. Alright. So it looks like I can move around with Wast. Take my spare pistol. Okay, apparently I've got a pistol and I can snap off rounds. Got an incoming call. Barry, are you two okay? I've got a helicopter outside of West Bay. But they just changed the codes to get past the dome. We'll be shot down as soon as we take off. Not great. Alright, we're going to try to hack into the lab computers. MFI has been dropping contagion pods. Be careful. Alright. So I guess I can walk around Diablo style too with left click. I'll try to do that for a little bit because it seems a little bit more effective than Wast. Are we trying to go in over here? Like where are we trying to go to right now? Is there like lootable containers or anything around that I can look at? Me and this other guy look like fundamentally identical. I don't see anything. Just a whole lot of rust and grossness. A bunch of monitors flickering and flaring too. I like the aesthetic design of the game. Is purdy. Looks like I can go down this way. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I don't have any like indicators of where it is I'm supposed to be going. What are those guys? Are those bad guys right there? What are those? Right click to attack an enemy and or target. Yeah, I shot him. There we go. He's down. Shoot that fool too. It looks like the game has kind of like a hybrid between real time and pause. There we go. Take his ass out. Looks like they're like zombies or ghouls or something. I don't know if I need to reload. Okay. A bunch of trees that kind of look like blood splashes. What does that say? We'll have to find another way. Oh, is it blocked down here? I didn't even notice. Oh, it takes us into like an outdoor area. Okay, all right, fair enough. Guess I'll come back this way. I assume that these are like grids for once we get into combat or something. Maybe, maybe the game has like a, maybe the game has like a, maybe an optional like turn-based mode or something. There's a bone over there. I guess I'll take it. I don't know if I want the bone. That was a close one. Shields must be down. Okay. So inside of our bag, ooh, I like that inventory. I like how it's kind of like an isometric angle almost. So we've got 15 bullets and a bone inside of our backpack. It looks like we can go into a sneak mode, switch targeted body part for aim shots, head stun reduce. Oh, I can change what I want to shoot for. I was going to say, I'm just going to go for the torso. Like, we'll go for center mass. That tends to be like all shooting criteria ever is like go for center mass. Are those dead guys? I can't tell what those are, man. Never heard of troops or mutants taking down a Vicky knot. Let's not stick around to see what did this. Yeah, those are dead guys. Anything that could take out that many dead guys, I think, could take us out, too. Ooh, I don't like this. This definitely has, like, a grimdark vibe to it. 
You can definitely tell that's what the, it's gritty, man. It's real gritty. All right, well, let's go up this way and we'll see what happens. Does this connect around over to this way that we came out through? It looks like this is actually like a different platform. I see an awful lot of blood. Do I kill that guy? Who is that guy? Yo, what are you doing down here? How did you get disconnected? Report to the North Bay Drive immediately. This isn't our war anymore, Captain. Get out of my way. Wait. You're not sending us back to the meat grinder. I think he definitely thinks he is sending us back to the meat grinder. He seems to have that... Ooh, a med kit. Yeah, I'll take a med kit. Absolutely. Take a med kit right this second, just in case I get shot up extra spicy. I end up a little bit more Swiss cheese than I came in. You do not belong here, soldier. Take it easy, medic. We're just looking for the access codes for the dome. The hard drives have been hacked. MFI has broken into the mainframe. Not what I wanted to hear, medic. I'm sorry. There might still be backups in the North Bay, or you can download the codes from my internal systems. Why didn't you start with that? Better yet, I'll just bring you. You can revive us if we fall. I am under orders to trail officers specifically. I just got promoted. Come on, let's go. Alright, well apparently we've got a little severed headbot that's following us around now. We've got ourselves a servitor, dude. We're in a full Warhammer 40k mode. I have no clue where I'm going, by the way. There's no indicators or anything else. And so I'm just walking around just completely aloof and unaware of any consequences that might transpire. Yeah, it looks like it's a modified real-time pause system. Oh, I got to reload. Oh, I like that reload animation. That was kind of cool. I like the gunshot sounds, too. They sound great. I'm going to move up, maybe. Yeah, fire off a round right there. Dude, I'm not positive that we have enough ammo to deal with this particular situation. Yeah, I think I'm out of ammo, like, officially. I don't think I have, like, anything left. It just did a reload. Oh, I got a couple of bullets left. Alright, well, we got, like, two rounds left. We threw something back on into the chamber. I'm gonna let my teammates handle this. Yeah, you guys have bullets and stuff left, so, like, you guys do this. Yeah, I've got a feeling you guys have, like, infinite bullets. And if you have infinite bullets, I'm just going to walk around in the backfield totally just sort of not paying attention while you guys gun everything down. Are these lootable or anything? Stay invisible by sneaking behind objects. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I was supposed to go into sneaky mode right there, and I just utterly failed at it. So there's a laser pistol over here. I'll take it. I don't have any laser pistol skills, but, like, I mean, it can't be worse than being unarmed. Anything inside of here? Another laser pistol. Looks like there's a bunch of, like, random bits and bobs floating around. Some laser charges. Okay. Let's go into our inventory real fast. And I'm going to, like, slightly organize all this. We've got 39 laser rounds. Yeah, I'll equip the laser pistol. I don't, I don't think we have anything else going for us right now. There we go. I'm reloaded. All right, so we got the laser pistol. Let's just stay low. Can there be anything inside the crates? I didn't know if the game was going to force me to turn into just like a pot slaying sociopath like I'm playing like Zelda or something. All right, I'm going to jump out of sneak mode because I don't see anything around here anyways. I think they wanted me to sneak through that room in particular, and I just like failed to do it. Hey, are you guys going to sneak? You guys are... I'm trying to be stealthy out here, and you guys are, like, waffle stomping all over the place, man. I like that the bugs explode into a pile of gore, though, whenever you step on them. That's pretty rad. All right, well, if nobody else is going to sneak, I'm not going to sneak. I don't want to be the odd man out here, dude. It makes me feel singled out, and I feel like I'm not a part of the team. So I'm just going to stomp around with the confidence that you guys have in the hopes that, like, maybe along the way somewhere... You know, maybe we'll get the jump on the enemy. Oh, you can actually, there's like Z-levels to it too, so you can actually like jump off of stuff. Alright. So far, the swamp seems more docile than everywhere else we've been. There's a red miasma over there. 
probably don't want to walk into that. This seems like the kind of environment where there might be breathable hazards. All right, well, walking around the swamp on the left, there wasn't a whole lot going on. It was kind of just like an empty area. So I have no idea if that's where we're supposed to go. They said it was off to the right when we first came out. And if it was the character's right, then we went the right way. But this whole area doesn't really seem to have... We'll get there faster on the bike. Maybe I just missed something over here. Oh, yeah, dude, there's a vehicle right here. Oh, we're in a vehicle. Bro, you want to get in the vehicle? Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, now we just got to take a look around. A bit of advice if you're going to play the demo. If you jump down off the top of, like, one of these cliffs, there's, like, no way to get back. So just, like, a quick heads up that, like, you definitely want to take the bike before you go through here. Otherwise, you're going to be hoofing it, and your teammates won't jump down with you, which is actually kind of a pro- Oh, I almost crashed. Hold on. We'll go back down around this. I like the vehicle. I sort of dig what they've got going on with this game right now. Can I go up that way? All right, well, the bike can't go up this way, so I assume we're on the right path right now. Uh, yep, there's bad guys over here, so that leads me to believe maybe we have gone down the proper... Dude, there's so many zombies over here. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is not good. Uh, just keep firing bullets at things until it all dies. I don't know if I have any more bullets left. I got two rounds left. All right, uh, I'm going to fall back and let my teammates do what they do. I got to break out the old Laz pistol here. Uh, can I strip ammo out of these or anything? Because I've got more slug throwers inside of here, but I don't know if they're, like, loaded. Something tells me that they're not. Hmm, okay. Yeah, throw on the laser pistol. At least we've got, like, 40 rounds for that. I may not be any sort of good at this, but at least now we're playing Star Wars. All right, a few more enemies down. There's bones laying around everywhere. I don't know what that meat... Oh, apparently that's them looking for me, I guess, so they've got, like, an awareness. All right, stay low, stay low, stay low. I don't think we can afford much attrition out here. There's a lot of bad guys. Oh, who's this dude? Is that our helicopter? Hurry, get into the helicopter. Hey, we made it, dude. Apparently, I found my way to the Chinook, so we didn't mess this up all together that badly. Oh, well, I guess that was the demo. I was looking forward to taking off and getting on out of there, and I wanted to see what the game had to offer in terms of, like, narrative and whatnot, but it's a very, very interesting title, I guess. Like, that, that real-time, turn-based sort of hybrid thing they've got going on, it takes a minute to kind of get used to it and, and sort of feel the way that it works and, like, how it flows, basically. Uh, but I do think that they've got, like, a really, really nice vibe and, like, a super awesome aesthetic going on with the entire title. And so, anyway, it's going to be a little bit of a short video, I guess, but Mecha Jammer. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. I like what they've got. It's a little short on word, I guess. I would have liked a tiny bit more exposition as to what's going on. It appears as though we were jacked into some kind of, like, network or terminal or something like that and got booted back out. And from what the officer said, it sounds like maybe they were using our brains as soldiers or something. And, like, we were being rescued sort of out of the Matrix style. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to keep an eye on this one as it develops. I really, really like the art style. It's got kind of like a uh, Aeon Flux thing going on that's very, very stark and sort of shocking to the eye. And it's like extra strength bloody while you're fighting monsters and whatnot with the 2D on top of 3D aesthetic, which you guys know that I'm a sucker for anyways. So, yeah, there you go. Mecha Jammer. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little foray into it. I liked what I played so far. Wish it was a little bit longer so I could have bit down into it a little bit harder. But it's definitely piqued my interest, and I'm definitely going to add it to my wish list. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Mecha Jammer. Uh, tomorrow, we will more than likely have something different for you to peruse and keep an eye on. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all then.